Hi everyone, this is Neha again and today's topic of making this video is how to create a virtual machine. So what is virtual machine? Virtual machine is a machine which is physically presented on your uh, laptop, desktop or any other machine uh, so that you would not need any other hardware. So you don't need two laptops or two computers anymore if you want to use you need two machines I would say so let's start doing that and okay so prerequisite to install a new virtual machine is you need to have Hyper-V program installed on your laptop or on your desktop so I have already installed it how I did it I am going to prepare a video on that and I'll share the link in the description of this video so that you can install that on your machine and learn how to do that and uh, second uh, prerequisite to create a virtual machine is like we have operating system right we use a disk uh, uh, a windows disk like if we are installing windows 8 or let's say any op server operating system we use uh, some kind of disk or hard drive on our machine right in virtual machine we need an iso file you can simply go to, you know, Google, I would say, and type, uh, download Windows Server, whichever operating system do you want, like 2012 R2 or 2008 R2, type that in ISO format. You will get lots of options or uh, lots of uh, Microsoft links to download that and you can download that for you. I've already done that. So let's start preparing the virtual machine. So we have two options, quick create and new. So I'm just going to show you what quick create means. So as soon as you click on quick create, it just opens up with the several options available. So Windows 10, because I already have Windows 10 on my machine, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, create a virtual machine using the same and I will have Windows 10 on this machine also. This is another option wherein uh, it is uh, another operating system, not Microsoft. This is Linux and this is some other option. Now, that depends what you want to use. Uh, the ISO file, which I'm talking about, let's say you want to install 2008 R2 or 2012 R2 machine. We click on local installation source and it says you can install from ISO file a virtual hard disk also. So change installation source I have uh, installed or downloaded few ISO files like these three it's 2016 if I want 2016 I can use this or 2008 R2 or 2012 R2 whichever I want and let's say if I click on 2012 R2 click open just click on create virtual machine and it will create a virtual machine however uh, yeah, so you can click on more option and it will give you an option to change the name. Like let's say I've, I've given quick and default switch. It is showing us the switch which we created in one of my videos and the link is available in description on how to do that. This is something guys you should learn or you should know what it is. Uh, I'm not going to invest some time or any more time in this video because it's time consuming. So let's say if I choose this, I simply need to click on create virtual machine. It takes some time. Then it gives me an option to edit the settings. It is showing me the ISO which I have chosen. It is showing me the memory. So memory guys, uh, if someone comes to you and asks you how much RAM do you have in your machine. Uh, so let's say you say 2 GB or 4 GB or 8 GB. So 2 GB means 2048 MB. So by default, if you cl click on quick create, it chooses 2 GB RAM and the dynamic memory. So what is dynamic memory? You, you go to your machine, click on PC. And the memory which shows you in the total of all this memory is 
called RAM. So this is the minimum it is going to use. This is maximum it is going to use. And so on and so forth. So as you can see, it is just it has just picked it up from the uh, ISO which I have created, and this is the actually switch which is going to show as the NIC card on your virtual machine. So this is what it is. As you and then you can click on OK if you want to make any changes, change it, or then click on Connect. You can see it is showing us here. Right click on it, click on connect and click on start. As soon as you click on start, it is going to take some time. It is just going to do its basic task and after some time, uh, just follow the steps it is going to show you so that uh, it's it's same like you are installing the operating system on your machine. So, this is one of the way to create it. I'm going to shut it down. So that we can create another one. Right click on it and shut, shut down that machine. Okay, we'll see why it is not shutting down right now. Let's go to another option that says new. Virtual machine. And then it says before you begin this and that and so many things. Uh, we don't need all these things. So just click on next. Here we can kick, uh, give a machine name. So let's say we give server techno. I'm just going to say server techno. Because we already have server techno solution as virtual network or I would say the virtual switch name. It shows you the location wherein it is going to show or save the details of uh, this machine I would say. We can choose this option and save it somewhere else. So let's say if we don't have space in C drive and we have it on some other, uh, some other drive. We can simply click on this option and change the location. However, I'm not going to do that. So just click on next. Generation 1 and Generation 2. So Generation 2 gives you little more features. What it is, we'll get about it um, later on. Now, once you have chosen Generation 1 and Generation 2, you cannot change it further. So I'm just going to go with the Generation 2 because this is latest. It has new virtualization features in it. Click next. Here you assign RAM. How much RAM do you want on this machine? So more RAM do you, you assign, uh, more faster your machine is going to be. So I'll go with 1 GB for now. It, it gives an option also use dynamic memory for this virtual machine. So dynamic memory means how much hard drive space do you want? Click on next. We are going to choose the switch which we created, Server Techno Solution Lab. It will appear as NIC card on your machine. And here, it is showing you that it will create a hard disk, a virtual hard disk on your machine at this location with the name of the virtual machine. You can change it if you want. And here you give the size of your virtual machine. So I'm just going to keep it as 20 GB for now because we are creating a test machine. Use an existing virtual hard disk or attach it later. We are creating a machine, so we are going to create a new one. Install an operating system later, so we can install an operating system later also via connecting uh, the, let's say we don't have any ISO or any uh, thing available with us, so we can simply just choose this option and keep it or install the operating system later. I'll show you how to do that once the machine is prepared. We have an ISO, so we are going to type a choose option, install an operating system from a bootable image file. That means ISO. So let's say I'll go with this one. 
the third one it says install an operating system from a network based installation server so ignore this part it's little more technical than the regular thing as soon as we click on next it actually shows us what we have chosen or selected if you want to make any changes you can simply click on the option you want to go for right and let's say if everything is fine after that come back to summary and click on finish now we come to our machine right click on it we can simply choose start from here also or we can connect to this machine first and click on start we can expand the size to view it it is going to do some basic check and it says x escape to cancel so i'm going to click click on x escape it is take some it is going to take some time as soon as it will takes you know it is going to clear all these things it will just uh, ask you to press any key and install the operating system as you normally install on your laptop or your desktop you need to follow the steps Okay, so now we are on a screen. I uh, happen to choose Windows Server 2016 ISO. So uh, we are on a screen wherein it actually uh, takes you uh, to choose the options. So you can click on Next and uh, click on Install. As soon as you click on Install, it is just going to give you several options, uh, and then you have to follow the further steps to install the operating system of on your virtual machine. So. Uh, that's it guys uh, because this is uh, it about how to create a virtual machine on your uh, hardware or i would say physical machine so thanks for watching it keep subscribe keep watching the videos subscribe the channel and make sure you actually press the uh, bell button next to subscribe button so that you would get to know about new videos which are coming so Thanks for watching keep learning and have a nice day thanks a lot guys bye bye